Halloween Cupcakes and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm really excited because I've got something fun to share with you today. This arrived on my doorstep, a little box of goodies, and it's from The Little House of Hugo. Now, if you haven't heard of Hugo before, it really blew up last year. It's a Scandinavian concept, and I was pronouncing it as Higgy <laughs> for quite some time until my husband, who did a um, gap year in Denmark when he was 15, told me that it's actually Hugo. So yeah, I was saying it for so long, I was saying Higgy for ages, and he corrected me. Um, but it's such a beautiful concept, and I'm really excited to share this with you. Um, so Hugo, if you haven't heard of it or don't know what it's about, it's kind of like self-care on steroids, and self-care is something that I'm really passionate about, and um, something that I blog a lot about. And it's basically appreciating the small little things in life, and slow living, minimalism, um, and just taking some time out for yourself. I was doing a lot of the Hugo kind of stuff anyway, especially in the autumn, winter period, like cozying up, lighting candles, fairy lights and all that kind of stuff, but I wasn't aware of um, the wellness aspects of it. So it's a concept that really resonated with me. And to learn more about the philosophy, I did some reading and I highly recommend, if you're interested in this, um, two books that um, I love and they're so beautiful. So this is The Little Book of Hugo, The Danish Way to Live Well. If you can see that, and the cover is beautiful. I just love all of the kind of illustrations on it. And then the second one is Hugo, The Danish Art of Happiness. And this is such like a coffee table book. It's just so pretty and um, the pictures inside are just stunning. You probably can't see in this light. Um, but yeah, definitely worth checking these two books out because they're really great and describe the whole concept um, really well. So, more about The Little House of Hugo. So this is a subscription service. You can buy one-off boxes just to kind of test them out. And if you really, really enjoy them, then you can actually um, sign up and each month you get a lovely box like this. It does come wrapped with a white bow um, on the front, which I've obviously taken off because I've been delving into this. Um, and it comes in this lovely kind of recycled card box, really simple, really minimalistic, like um, Hugo. And then it's got this lovely white tissue paper. Let's open it up. And inside is all this goodness. Um, and it comes with these kind of recycled bits of paper and there's like rose petals in there. I can't find any right now, but it's just really pretty, really nicely packaged. Like they've really taken like care and attention to make sure it's really special when you open it up. So I'm going to run through what we got in the April box. So first up is this um, little notebook, it's like a pocket sized notebook from Agnes and Maisie and it says let's huga on the front and it's got white stars on it and I love like this kind of recycled um, card that makes up the cover, that's really sweet and I love my stationery so that's, that's really good and here we've got some drinking chocolate. This is from, let's see, I can't actually, is it Jazz and Jewels? I can't actually make out the logo, um, but it's Cinnamon Rose, um, it's handmade and natural, and the packaging is lovely, and let's see if I can open it to show you inside. So yeah, it does what it says on the tin, guys. <laughs> It's a bag of cocoa powder, of drinking chocolate. I can't actually smell the rose coming through, but I'm excited to give this one a try. So that's that. And then next we have, ooh, Rose Water Mist. And this is by a brand called Mirrens. I don't know if you've heard of that. Let's see it closer. And See, it cleanses, soothes, and tones the skin. So let's have a smell. Mmm, that just smells of spring, like it's really fresh, really fragrant, really light. That's beautiful, I'm gonna enjoy using that one. And then what else do we have? 
we have some tea. So this is the Birdhouse Tea Company from the Peak District. And this tea is called Muddy Boots, strangely enough. And it says on the back, we are an independent company and pride ourselves on offering only the highest quality teas and blends for you to enjoy. So I'm not sure what, what flavour this is. Muddy Boots doesn't really give anything away. Oh here, an indulgent blend of black tea, roasted cacao husk, cacao nibs and vanilla. So I'm kind of sensing a chocolatey theme because obviously it's April, um, so this box is all kind of focused on Easter, which is really lovely. So yeah, chocolate's always good. And speaking of chocolate, look what I found, this Happy Easter candle from Bloom Candles. I've never heard of this brand before, but I love my candles. Like I always have one on um, in the evening or on my desk when I'm working. Oh my god, it smells of chocolate. I wish YouTube had like smelly vision. That smells exactly like chocolate. Mmm, I wonder if you can eat it. That's really cool. And more chocolate goodness. I can't, I always pronounce this wrong. I think it's Doisy. Doisy and Dam. I've had this before. Um, and it, I really enjoyed it. Um, this is a goji and orange one. 74% organic dark chocolate so I'm really gonna enjoy digging into that because I love I've had some of their chocolates before and they're really really tasty and what else have we got Ooh, well and happy guilt-free indulgence chocolate bar so yeah this is definitely a box for Easter there's chocolate like all over it um, caramel chocolate bar infused with lumica and dark chocolate chunks made with 50% cacao solids I've wanted to try these bars for ages, so I'm so happy to see this one in here. And what else have we got? Let's have a dig around. Ah, so this is like a candle holder. Like a cement candle holder, so it's kind of made from glass and it's got cement painted on the outside of it. So it's kind of very min minimalistic, very Scandi themed, which is really nice. I'm going to enjoy putting my tea lights in there. That's really cute. And next up, we have some bath oils made with natural essential oils. Um, so it's like a little sample or tester to try, which is really sweet. So that's that. And is there anything else? No, that's it. That's all of it. So as you can see, it's lots of kind of um, items to like kind of promote relaxation, self-care, indulgence, lots of me time, I'm about to drop the box on the floor. There's so many subscription services out there at the moment, there's literally a box for everybody, um, but this one is definitely something that I can get on board with. I think it's such a beautiful concept and such a great idea for a subscription service like a warm hug through the post every month and um, I'll leave the links um, down below um, to the Little House of Huga so you can find out um, if you want to um, subscribe or purchase a one-off box or just find more about the company and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. See you soon!